Hi, my name is Jorge Carrello and I run the Environmental and Sustainability Club at Windermere Secondary School in Vancouver, BC. I am originally from Mexico City. I'm 18 years old. So the idea in this project was to start at the school, create a, a great green space that's really needed in the front of the school that's kind of been an eyesore in the community for a long time. This is actually, yes, this is actually the beginning of a, a bigger project that we have in mind. The original project, the original idea, is to create a greenway, a bikeway that can actually connect all of the elementary schools to the secondary school and also to the more like to the community centers. So we're trying to create this sort of like uh, bike highway that will um, be accessible for like everyone, for like children, youth, uh, adults, that uh, that it could that it could be like such a good alternative to cars, right? So um, yeah, that's our main uh, that's our main vision, like an, our goal in the future. I think they do it because it's fun. And over here, where there's just grass, we wanted to put in ferns because they remind most people of the forest and rocks with maybe carvings on them. We're not sure. And we wanted to paint the sign. a forest, now it's just yeah. the city, we want to bring back some of the forest. One of the difficulties with this community is it's a, there are some major traffic arteries that go right through, they sort of knife through uh, Redford Collingwood. I don't think you're supposed to park like that. We're trying to make it seem like we are actually a school that cares about its environment, right? And, and yeah, it's like friendlier looking. The problem that we're having right now is like in order for us to start taking action on this project, we actually need to get permission from the houses in front of the school. It is uh, it is a challenge because uh, they wanna have to pay for uh, they're gonna have to pay for for these changes in a lab store. I think they're gonna have to pay for it in um, for over 15 years. They're gonna have to pay something like 80 dollars, right? So it's not something that they could say, yeah, let's do it. You know, they have to actually be aware of it and you know they have to be aware that they're gonna have to make that investment over over the uh, over the period of 15 years I think they do it because it's fun there's the upfront people hey you guys come in so here's so here's the here are the new members of Offram. This is Mash, well, Sasha, and here's Nikki, and this guy, his name is Patricio. So what's it like working with Jorge? It's fun, because he's a real person, not a teacher. I think they do it because it's fun. And now you see, this is the reason why I think Offram works really well at school, because the kids and I, well, my friends and I, I'm not gonna call them kids, because we're almost the same age. Yeah, you know, like, I don't know, we're just like really close to each other. 